Here is a quick C++ performance puzzle. Imagine we have a massive 8192 by 8192 matrix and loop over it twice. First, row by row, and then column by column. Which do you think will be faster? Go ahead and think about this for a moment, and I'll explain the result next. Okay, now that I've given you some time to think about this, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. And as we can see, the cache-friendly loop, the row by row, is much faster than the cache-unfriendly loop, uh, which is column by column. But why is this? It comes down to CPU caching and memory layout. In C++, a uh, matrix stores rows contiguously in memory. When you loop row by row, each memory access is sequential, and the CPU cache can efficiently prefetch data in large chunks. But when you loop column by column, each iter inner iteration jumps across rows, causing cache lines to be reloaded over and over. This leads to frequent cache misses, forcing the CPU to fetch data from slower main memory instead of its fast cache. The huge difference in memory access patterns is why the column-first loop is so much slower. The key takeaway is, loop order matters. Always access memory in the same order it is stored to make the most of CPU caches and avoid hidden performance penalties. This concept is critical in high-performance code and can mean the difference between blazing fast algorithms and painfully slow ones.